Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and brief review video and I'll be presenting the Opolar 4 inch mini USB desk fan. This is not a paid or affiliated review. All my reviews are non affiliated, unbiased, and honest, and I do not provide any affiliated links or anything anywhere. So I purchased this with my own money and uh, the fan actually uh, can come in very handy if you uh, at your desk or you can take it to your office or if you're working at home then you know it can just sit on anywhere because it's a very small fan. So we'll open this and we'll take a look at it, uh, how it works, uh, how strong is the wind, uh, how is the noise uh, quality and some other aspects. So let me just give you some uh, some of the specs of this product. So this is a four inch mini USB fan. It has two speeds and uh, USB powered. Uh, it should rotate 360 degree up and down and there should be attached a 3.8 feet cable. The box comes like this. And uh, so the model number of this one is F611. So this is a very uh, cheap product. Uh, you can get it uh, below $20 Canadian if it's not on sale. Uh, but if it's on sale, they can, you can get it around $10. And then here's some of the specifications, uh, which uh, you can see it right here, that uh, five volt, uh, 2.5 watt, and cable length is 1.2 meter, which is 3.8 feet. So let's start opening the box and then we'll take a look at our fan. Okay, so the box is empty right now. So we have uh, uh, there's an attached attach card, and uh, it just tells you that you know if you register and become a member, you have some advantages, uh, which you can see it right here. So I'll put it aside, and here's the fan, and I'll just take out the plastic. Okay, so the first thing I can uh, I notice that this is very lightweight, so you can uh, you know it's almost uh, feels like no weight. And there's uh, nothing heavy, so it's very lightweight. And then you can see the switch button right here. So it looks like uh, the power button. And there's a uh, speed uh, one and two. So two should be higher fan power than one. And then here's the USB cable. And then uh, this is how it rotates. So you can like, you know, let's say you are sitting on this side of desk uh, but if you want it to be on the other side then you can just flip it without uh, removing the fan so that's not a uh, bad feature at all so what i'll do i'll uh, power the fan and uh, let's uh, take a look at the wind how it works so i'm going to just attach it to a power bank And let's start with the power one. Okay, so you can hear the noise. Uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, experience the noise. And uh, the fan power force at this level, I would say really not bad. You know, I can feel the wind. So to give you an example of uh, how strong is the wind, I took a piece of napkin and I'll put it on here. And you can see that you know that's a very uh, good wind uh, this should be good enough for one person if you're sitting at a desk but now let's uh, increase it to level two and see how strong it goes okay so now the wind is even stronger and you can see that you know I cannot put the napkin in front of it it's just blowing it away and if you are paying attention to the noise then it's you can hear that you know it's a bit noisier but uh, in terms in general it's very uh, little or low noise so this should be very uh, good fit at your work uh, interrupting uh, anyone else uh, and it shouldn't like you know cause any problem at your concentration as well so that's a very uh, low noise fan with a very strong wind comparing given the fact that this is a very small tiny fan which is only four inch 
Okay, so I'll turn it off right now. So the thing, one thing I noticed is that, uh, let's say if you want to increase the power, then you have to actually turn it off first, then you have to go to level two. So there's no way, you know, going from uh, zero to one and then one to two. So that's the way they designed it. Uh, it's not a big deal, but just something you, you know, may want to consider. And the frame is plastic, uh, which is expected for a fan at this low cost, but you know, it doesn't feel that cheap and it doesn't feel that, you know, it's going to break right away. So I wouldn't uh, worry about anything being plastic body. So overall, I'm satisfied with uh, the purchase uh, comparing what I paid. Uh, there's no way you know you can go wrong if you purchase this on sale. And again, this is not affiliated. So the opinions are honest, unbiased, and there's no affiliated link. Thank you for watching this video. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. I'll see you shortly.